we as a country um, have done well at being more open about people with disabilities, but we have a long way to go. And to kind of understand that we can do the same things that you can do, just a little bit differently, and we might look different or we might act different, but it doesn't mean that we're different as a person. It doesn't mean that like we don't like to watch Netflix or hang out with our friends or anything that you do. I was born 24 weeks premature, so my retinas didn't fully develop. So one is torn in half and the other is crumpled into a ball. So I have no vision in my left eye and 2400 in my right. Depth perception is an issue because I only have one eye that works, which makes swimming really interesting sometimes. The one nice thing about swimming is that there's not too much of an issue. Um, it's kind of the place where no matter, you know, if you have vision, if you don't have vision, that type of thing, that it doesn't really affect the way that you compete. Camp Abilities is a great way to just build some kids' confidence on being able to participate in athletics and their families to just kind of show them that they're equally as capable and you kind of don't have to keep your kid in a bubble. That experience was kind of cool because I had never met another blind person prior to then. You get used to kind of being different than everybody else, so it's kind of nice to, you know, feel like everybody else is just the same as you when you're around them and that's a really important part of just a kid growing up. So Lauren Lieberman, who runs the whole camp, she um, kind of took me under her wing a little bit and showed me the ropes of everything and was the one that actually got me involved in Paralympics. I kept with it and kept practicing and just found that I really enjoyed it and that it was something that I really liked and just kind of kept doing it till I didn't swim so bad anymore. I went into Paralympics the first time in about 2008-2009 and we did a little couple meets here and there, but I didn't really get what it was. I was just kind of like, oh, okay, there's some meets. I'll swim in random places throughout the country and go home. And so we gave it up because I wanted to focus on school. And then in 2013, I went to Minneapolis and swam in a meet there. And a couple days into it, I found out that it was Worlds Trials. We went to Montreal that summer and competed in Worlds, and that was kind of my first breakthrough into the international stage. Rio was really cool. It was kind of nuts. Um, it's 10 days of competing, and that's a long time. Um, especially when, you know, you're in the village and it's all new, and the whole situation is new. Like, I'd never been to South America. To kind of be able to do that and kind of walk out in the podium gear and get your name announced and be able to swim, you know, be the top eight in the world in an event was so cool. And just to be able to make finals at my first games is a really big accomplishment that going in, that was something that I did want to do. So in swimming, I plan to swim for Brockport for the next two years. Continuing with that for my Paralympic career, I would like to keep going and see how Tokyo goes. Tokyo is a long way away, so <laughs> we'll see. Um, I definitely want to go for the next two years within the Paralympic realm. I am now in my last semester of undergrad and intend to, in the fall, start my master's in psychology. And after that, kind of work for a little bit and, you know, make some money. And uh, then eventually t go into my doctorate. Overcoming obstacles in any challenge in life is always difficult, no matter if you're disabled or able-bodied. But I think it's how you look at the challenge and how you address it in your own life is really important to kind of keep it in the perspective of keeping big things small and kind of knowing that anything is manageable no matter what you've got working for you or against you. Programs like ABVI and other children's programs are so important to growing and developing visually impaired and blind students. So any support you can give them is so appreciated and so welcome.